Hey fam, welcome back again to my video. Um, so guys, if you see me looking at my phone, I've actually jotted things down that I'm telling you guys. Um, so guys, in today's video, <laughs> I'll be telling you. Um, I actually get this a lot, right? I'm not like I get this a lot. I'm telling you about list of countries you can actually migrate to via work routes and work on tourist visa. This title actually says countries you can actually migrate to and work with tourist visa. Let me just um give a bit of uh, a disclaimer, not a bit to a huge disclaimer that it is illegal worldwide, nationwide, everywhere to actually work on tourist visa. You cannot work on what on tourist visa. So, in as much as you can be taking tourist visa to migrate to this country, it is your duty, your responsibility, and that of your employer to actually change your tourist visa to what work visa. If they catch you at the wall, at the employer, at the image, they are going to throw you people inside too. So, it is illegal to work on tourist visa. So, what is legal about working on tourist visa is just changing that tourist visa to what work visa. And changing tourist visa to work visa is. Some are straightforward and some are not straightforward, depending on the country, depending on your nationality, obviously, depending on so many factors like that. But then I'm going to make everything easy for you, guys. In today's video, I'll be talking about countries you can actually change from tourist visa to work visa. So that's the thing. So you can use tourist visa to migrate to this country, and then when you get there, you actually change to tourist visa. So the thing is, I'm going to be dividing this video into two. I'll be listing the countries first. And then the things you have to do, which one should I post first? Talk about first. Let me list the countries first. Yeah, because some of you now have patience. I want to fall inside gutter. Yes, when you fall, you come back and say, Shepi, I say, I'll not say, yeah, watch the full video. So I'm going to be listing the countries first. And then I'll tell you things you have to do before you actually take on this journey. Because one thing I used to tell immigrants, sometimes even when they come to pay me for consultation, if they're told to pay for consultation, they say they just want to do the tourist package. I'm like, please, is your father in that place? Is your mother there? Your sister and call, cousin call, brother and call, uncle and call. So who do you know that wants to help you to get a job there? That you just enter inside a little plane. Uh -uh. One belief that most immigrants actually have is once you just enter the country, you shall have a job. Which language is that? A daily one in here. Even Nigeria, your own country, gone, you don't just see job. You're not thinking they are broad. Anyhow, sha uh -uh. Oh, they lay on bed. In this world that they make use of DBS. They make use of reference. They use of uh -huh. oh, lay on bed. You just want to just like that. Uh -huh. And some can even be language country. You don't know anybody there, and you just you these immigrants. You people should be. Anyways, let's dive right into it. In no particular order, or in any particular order, or not. The first on my list is Canada. Yeah, so Canada is one of those countries you can actually migrate to with tourist visa. Then when you get there, you actually change to work visa. But Kinikoko can look by JIRJ. But the thing is, if you don't want to go through tourist visa, I should have a work permit, direct work permit from Canada, and it's kind of expensive. Anyways, I'll put in a link in my description box. I titled it Pay Me Packages. You will see the video about if you want direct work permit to give you the person's contact when you pay my referral fee. You got me. You actually see the video in my description box. Yeah. So if not, if that's too expensive for you, you go on tourist visa. But the thing is, sometimes even when you go on tourist visa, you still have to come back to me and ask me to help you with the job. So who could go like this? Instead of going like this, going like this, going like this, you got me? So that's first on my list. And the second one is Australia. The third one is New Zealand. You see these TV countries. I used to tell you people that they practice the same wish wishes and wizards. They, as in, they attend the same kofu. Canada, Australia, and this thing. Naturally, naturally, if I actually send your CV to... Canadian job portals, Australian job portals, right? Maybe then it's easy, right? But now, now, hmm? they don't find it easy again. So these countries, right, legally, they prefer you take tourist visa to their country, get your, apply for your job, do your interview and all of that, then they will change your visa from tourist to work visa. If you think you want to move to Australia, New Zealand and Canada, and then you want to apply manually, and it's in my dear, let me not lie for you. Let me not lie for you. As soon as you be, as in you will sleep there, because um work visa from outside Canada from outside this thing actually takes a whole lot of time. Which employer will want to wait for you unless it is actually all these agencies that actually does um pay me, I give every job and all except 
ayafi eh but if you're passing the normal routes i've been normal route that is prefer somebody that is already in the country that they can do interview for they can change the visa and everything so once you are outside in australia on at least canada one is still like if you're applying from nigeria it's 39 weeks and some are faster processing australia one yeah that one yeah good and everything so it's actually a legal um legal um procedure for you to take tourist visa and actually migrate to these countries legally right so the next on my list is like i said australia and new zealand canada they practice this thing real so the next on my list is um austria you can actually go to austria on tourist visa and change to work visa but there's actually a but there i'm discussing it next on my list is sweden you can do the same to sweden but there's actually another but there then somebody this is netherlands is another country you can actually migrate to right and then another one is china the next to my list is vietnam 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 the next to my list is singapore the next to my list is south korea and the last but not least is luxembourg this is not limited to right we have more but i just said this according to my research and the other ones that is possible okay i forgot to add uae dubai united arab emirates but now because they've locked those house right it's no more possible so i did had some countries because um changing tourist visa to work visa is not so straightforward but these countries they are straightforward but they have a huge boat and that's what we'll be discussing so for australia new zealand and canada hmm? i've talked about the boats for okay okay the thing is before you decide to take tourist visa hmm, or conference visa to go to any country of your choice right the first thing you have in mind like i asked and i used to ask immigrants do you have anybody there do you know anybody there is your father there is your mother there when well, you know you don't have somebody there so the best you can do for yourself is come to people like us for career consultation Pay for career consultation, which includes you sending your CV, helping you to streamline your job options, helping you to get things done, things you have to do in your own country before you jump back. Because like I used to say, you cannot use the same stone where you use Mayor UK to Mayor Canada to Mayor DC. For example, in UK, um, as I told make okay, in UK, care job is in demand. But in Canada, in as much as they need caregiver, but they have a particular slot per year. Whereas UK own, they don't have a particular slot. So don't just sit down and say, oh, caregiver is in, is in, is in high demand. And then because of that, you just enter any country as a caregiver. So different country, they have different, um, this thing, and then they have different rules according to whatever they are facing at the moment. And that is why if you come to people like us that were always updated with information. So if you are open to actually travel with tourist visa, so I go with the other country with tourist visa and then change to work visa. Come and pay for career consultation to help with your CV, to help you streamline your options and tell you how to get jobs easily. Because when you actually go on tourist visa, you have just three months. In that three months, you have to exit and come outside, right? That exit and come outside. And for example, if you're going to a country like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, is a whole lot of money. As in from Nigeria to Canada, have you people checked the flights? Do you know how much the flight is? From Nigeria to Australia, Uncle, she had to fly ticket. Ah, ah, Nigeria to New Zealand, Uncle. Ah, ah, oh, yeah, wow. That's like, two and four, that's like two million, a bit 2.5. Ah, how much are they selling land you're liking? So imagine leaving your home country on tourist visa, thinking that Mana is going to fall for your revenge. How much am I charging for consultation fee? I have 50k, I want 50k, and all of those things. And you feel like, no. He pay you to waste two point something million naira, three million naira with visa and everything, and then you go there. You don't have father, you don't have mother. Even entering on going back, going they can't help somebody to get a job. You just go empty headed. I think no, eh, at all at all, be. Because those countries, they actually know that you can't work on tourist visa because if they catch you working on tourist visa, they will sanction both you and the employer. And as the employer go shop and pass because he may get 
uh, in business, then you know, they feel the pot with me, they come your ass. Now, the employer go shop around. So, which employer will actually want to risk his license for you to work on tourist visa? The ones that can risk it are all these, maybe all these many countries, right? Maybe like Qatar, like yeah, all these many countries, right? That I think. But see, all these standard countries like Australia, and they will sanction the employer. So, which employer will want to do that? So, the question I used to ask um, immigrants is before you actually migrate outside the country on tourist visa, do you know anybody there? So it is your duty and responsibility to prove um to prepare yourself to groom yourself. You should know the job you are targeting. Don't just say some of you if is asking which job are you the same. And another thing is some of you might want to apply for a particular job. It might be a job that they used to give their citizen. It is, might be a job that there, there is no how you will try to not give you because they received it for their citizen. Like I say, it's not your father's land. It's not your mother's land. You get <laughs> They don't say your papa, you get <laughs> so there are some jobs like that that you it is never available for foreigners, and there are some jobs that is available for foreigners, and there are some it has to do with the city. There are some jobs that is in high demand, but if you go to a capital city, you won't get it. You have to move inside the bridge. So when it comes to career consultation, right? There are a lot of factors to consider, a lot of things considering your um career size, sorry, career considering your family size, your spouse, your age. Age is under factor. There are some people that once they visit a, a certain age and they say they want to move to some country, I say, please don't stress yourself. Just go to this one. Because God will not allow somebody to labor in vain. There are some people like, so when it comes to career consultation, there are a lot of things, a lot of factors to actually consider. So it's not just about you just moving to your country. Move to a country that in the next two or three years, you will not see your leg on this table. Not moving to a country and then you just not say, you just do work, you just do also. They are just renewing your visa every year. It does not make any sense. It doesn't. So, and then another thing is, for I made mention of some Schengen countries, right? Like Sweden, like Luxembourg, um, some of Austria. These Schengen countries, in as much as you can use tourist visa to change to work visa, it doesn't just go straight forward like that. This single country, there's something you have to do first before you're able to change to work visa. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not straightforward like. Australia, Canada, and all of that. There is something you have to do first. So if you want to know the same thing, if you want to understand the same thing, please come out to my DM or my email, audio 300 k I'll tell you that something that you will do before you are able to change to um work resident permits. So Austria, Luxembourg, um other country, the, most of the Schengen countries, right? In as much as you can travel there with your tourist visa, right? You can't really change directly into work visa. There is something you have to do first before you're able to change into work visa. And that something is... Is... Enter my DM or your 300k. I'll tell you this something. You get. And if you feel like you know this something, ah, God have helped you. And if you think you don't know it, ah, God have help you again. Anybody that can pay, come and pay your money. So it's not just about moving outside the country. We just um listen like that. So guys, um, thank you so much for that's all right. Yep. That will be all. So um, so guys, um, thanks so much for watching today's video and I see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.